I'm Elise Crosby. It's um, Friday afternoon, the 9th of July. There was another meeting earlier today of the ad hoc committee tasked with the amendment of section 25 of the constitution. What transpired at this meeting was that the um, political parties discussed the um, amended bill clause by clause and they voted on proposals that were made by the various political parties. Um, what happened is that although there were some proposals by other political parties uh, um, as well, the ANC used the majority that it has in this committee um, to basically get the ANC proposals um, voted into the amended version of this bill, which will now be published again for public comment. So th these proposals include um, things such as the scaling down of the role of the courts, um, the provision for null compensation, as well as the proposals regarding state custodianship of certain land. So apparently a period of three weeks after the publication of this version of the bill will now be allowed for written comments. So um, AgriSA will be studying this new version. We will also make it available to members um, once it, um, it becomes available. The, the one that was used this morning um, was um, it's not, not very easily understandable because they were taking out um, wording and, and putting in new wording. So we'll make that available. We'll also start working on um, our draft comments in this respect. The, um, with many questions raised regarding the procedure again um, this, in this morning's meeting as to whether the community, uh, the, the, the committee is still acting within its mandate as to whether they should actually go back to the National Assembly to have the motion amended um, as to whether the three weeks period is, um, in terms of the parliamentary rules, in fact, the, the period required for consultation, etc. Um, so we will also, together with our legal team, be looking into those procedural aspects, um, as I'm sure some of the opposition parties will be doing as well.